Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my update for my whole collection, Project Pan. This is a huge collab. So Emily and I had done this as a collab last year and a lot of people wanted us to open it up for everyone to join and just be a huge big collab, which we did. So I will leave some links down below to help you check out some of the other people doing this Project Pan. And I'll also leave Emily's channel linked down below so you can check her out. So this project was actually started by Becky Loves Kanga, so I will leave her linked, of course, for you to check out. And then Emily and I were, last year when we decided to, to do this project, uh, we were very inspired by Alexi because we had been watching her do that project the year before, so I will leave Alexi's channel linked as well. Alright, so I have not been updating this project pan. I think I've only updated once. If you're not new to my channel, you know that I have been struggling with updating my projects this year. I am trying to get better and I think eventually we will get back into uh, updating more regularly, missing updates here and there, but for the most part being very on top of it. Because without getting too much into that, the whole collection project pan, if you've never seen it before, so basically is a rolling project 10 pan, but the products that are put into it are randomized. What I've done is I put all of my products into a spreadsheet and I just have a random number generator pick a number that corresponds to entries in the spreadsheet. So this update is probably not going to be the most exciting because I don't really have a whole lot of progress on these items, but I really wanted to get this up uploaded so that I kind of have a nice kind of fresh start for September. And with that, I feel like I can kind of push myself to get more use out of these items. I'm going to start off with my eyeshadows. Um, these are ones that I was kind of considering rolling out but I made I think I made the goal of using them 15 times before rolling them out because I just didn't feel like panning them. I think it was 15 times I it might have been 20 so I will correct that if I'm wrong but I think it was 15. So the first one that I have comes from the Certified Dynasty palette and it is this opal shade right here. That is it swatched there. It's very icy blue. I'm still not really wanting to pan this particular shade. I've used it a total of five times, which again, not great. And I told you in the beginning, there's not going to be very good progress on any of these items. I think I'm going to stick with the 15 on this and just try and get 10 more uses. Next up, I have a shade from my Natasha Denona Star palette. It's this shade right here. It's called Earth. It's just like your kind of like your deep matte brown. It's, I mean, not the most exciting shade. Uh, I'll just quickly talk about this. I've used it only four times since the beginning of the year. Again, I know, not great progress. Uh, however, I did make some decent progress in my Pan Those Eyeshadows project, and I feel like now that I've gotten a certain shade out of the way, this one will be able to uh, go with a lot more of the other shades that I'm panning, and I do feel like I can get a lot more use out of it. So I have been reaching for this a little bit more recently, like the four times that I've used it have been pretty recent. So I am excited. I'm going to try and knock out the 15 uses on this guy as well. But this shadow, I do feel like if I'm having a good time panning it with these next 11 uses, I'm going to go ahead and keep it in this project, unlike the blue shade. I've been having fun reaching for this palette as a whole as well, so I don't think I'm going to be too... I think I'm going to want to keep it in this project. The next product I have is a blush from Sigma. This is the Corday Rosa blush, and my goal was to use this, I believe, 30 times. I think <laughs> it's been a while since I have really thought about this project pan, so... I think it was 30 times. This one I'm actually doing really well on, in my personal opinion. Uh, so I've used this 10 times, and that means I only have 20 uses left, which I do think I can definitely knock that out in the next few months here. I would really, really like to do that. I think it will be pretty easy. I'm excited to see if there's like a little bit more visual progress by 30 uses. Anyways, I wasn't really trying to hit pan on it anyways, but it would be nice to see a little bit more like visual progress on this. 
So next up I have the ABH Stick Foundation. This is one of the contour shades in the shade Fawn. I use this as a contour stick and let's see. I've only used this an additional three times so I don't have too much progress on this. My last update I've only used this twice. And I was able to make a new mark, but for some reason, even though I've used it three times, I'm not able to make a new mark. I'm very confused. I don't know why that is, but I'm not really too upset by that. It definitely, it's going to take quite a lot of uses to get uh, some more visual progress. I don't know if I want to change my goal for this one. I don't know if I even necessarily had a goal, like if it was to try and finish it up. I definitely don't think I can finish it by the end of the year. Maybe if I adjust my goal to be like to use up um, half of it would be slightly better and maybe slightly more attainable than using it up completely so I think I might make that my goal and then I at least have something to kind of aim for. So next I have a highlighter from this uh, Laura Geller highlighting palette. This is the Dripping in Gold Illuminator palette. The one that I'm trying to pan is the Molten Copper shade right here which it's a little too deep for my skin tone. Uh, I mean if I self tan it's probably fine but for my natural shade, it just is a little too deep. Um, I've been mixing it with this shade up here, which is French Fizz, and that tends to work out fairly well, but I can't get a ton of use on it. So I don't know, I think my goal was to hit pan on this, but I just don't know if that's really, I mean, especially with the amount of time we have left this year, I really don't see that happening. So I think I'm gonna adjust my goal to just use this 30 times. I feel like that will help me actually like push myself to use it more because I have something that I could actually like achieve like it's a it's a goal I could actually hit I'm gonna be changing that to just be to use it 30 times unless I already made that my goal I don't really remember in my head my goal was to completely finish it or not to well not to finish it just to hit pan on it but I just don't think that's gonna happen I've only used this an additional two times uh, so again not great uh, I probably won't even necessarily be taking progress pictures of these items, to be completely honest, and I hope that that's okay with you guys. I hope you guys understand. I just really want to be able to get these videos out, like, as soon as possible. Next up, I have the NYX uh, Natural Lip Liner, and yeah, it's in the shade Natural, sorry, I <laughs> said that kind of weird. Used this nine times. My goal is to use up half of this, so I made, like, a little mark where the halfway point was. I don't think I'm going to get there in this like this year. I just feel like progress is so slow, but if I can up my usage of this, uh, then I think we might get somewhere. So I still have my two bite like little mini amuse-bouche lippies. The first one I have is the Gemini 2 shade. It's like this really, really pretty nude. Uh, let me go ahead and give you a little swatch. So that is it swatch right there. Can't really make a new mark. It's gonna be like right underneath the old one. So I'm gonna hold off on that. But I've used this an additional three times. So for this lipstick, we are up to eight uses, which again, I know is not great. I do hope that I can use this up by the end of the year. And then I also have the shade Virgo vampy shade here. Like if I was gonna pick a shade to pan, it would not be this. I tried using it as a cream blush and that did work out well, but I always forget to use it as a cream blush. So I haven't been getting much use out of it. I did put it on, I think, was I wearing this? I wore this like one of the last few times I did my makeup. I actually wore it as a lipstick and it was, it was nice. It was pretty. I didn't hate it or anything. I just, I'm not super into vampy lips at the moment. I don't really think that even get kind of more into fall and winter. I still don't think I'm really going to be very into them. There's something that's like every once in a while I have the urge to wear a vampy lip and then most of the time I like something more nude. So I was thinking I would have to use this as a cream blush in order to pan it, uh, but I was hoping to have more use on this, but this one I literally have only used it twice. And then the last two products I have, I've only used them both one time, and they were rolled in during my last update. So I have the ColourPop 
Super Shock uh, highlighter. This is in the shade Lunch Money. And then I also have the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner. This is in the shade Glam Rock. I have only used these both once since rolling them into this project. My goal with these two, I think this one I just wanted to use 15 times. And then this one, I wasn't sure if I made a goal for it. I think my goal will just be to use it 30 times. I think I have to do some usage goals for this project just to kind of like get back into it and set myself some more realistic goals since we are very behind this year. And I think that's going to work out. I think that's going to help me kind of like be a little bit more motivated because I know I can at least achieve those goals. Anyways, that's it for this project. I hope you enjoyed this kind of boring update. I am hopefully going to have a lot better progress to share with you in my next update. So I'm always like a little self-conscious when I have updates like these where they're not great and I feel like that's been this entire year of just like horrible project pan updates or no project pan updates. So please bear with me. I know it's not like the most exciting thing to watch, but I also hope you don't feel like like you're not I don't know. I hope that I hope it's still interesting. And I guess if it's not I don't know, come back next year. I don't really know what to say. I'm I'm doing my best and I know I'm not the only person out there that's been struggling with keeping on top of things this year. It's been kind of a rough year in so many different ways. So yes. <laughs> Anyways, again, I hope you did enjoy and if you do like project painting, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. That's all I have. So make sure you're checking out Emily and Alexi and Becky. I will have all three of their channels linked down below. But of course, also this is a big project pan. So there is a playlist that I probably haven't been doing the best at updating, which my apologies, I will try and get on that and try and get that all sorted out. But we also are using a hashtag, I believe, so, so you can definitely find people that way as well since we are doing this as a collab, but make sure you're checking out everyone else. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!